Now, drinking just one cup of coffee a day during pregnancy can result in your baby being born underweight. The findings are from a major Scandinavian study and they challenge the current British guidelines on caffeine intake. Well, let's try and get some clarity on this from nutritionist Nicole Berber. And good to see you, Nicole. What, I mean, how does all the figures tie in with what we believe to be the case here in the UK? Well, in the UK, we've got a figure of 200 milligrams of caffeine a day. Surprisingly, that's very easy to meet as it is because a cup of coffee, a fresh coffee, could be 140 milligrams. Add to that maybe a bar of chocolate, which is 50 milligrams, and you're up to your 200 milligrams. So it's very easy to meet it. But that's the level that we've got at the moment, it's 200 milligrams. We've always said in this country is fine. This study comes and challenges that and says maybe we need to reconsider because they found, looking at 60,000 approximate pregnancies, that they found that correlating what people had in the past, they looked at their coffee, their tea, their colas, their chocolate, their desserts, all of these are sources of caffeine, and they correlated it with what was the birth weight of the baby, and they found that there was a correlation. That correlation doesn't prove it. We need to look further, so we can't panic and say, um, you've got to worry if you are having it. But it's just a caution to say, actually, we need to look at this a little bit further and maybe reassess. It's, it's part of the problem with all of this. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm aware of coffee and tea and fizzy drinks if I thought about it. But chocolate, I mean, think, you don't think about chocolate and desserts containing a, a, a noticeable, a significant amount of caffeine. Yes, I mean, if you've got a 50 gram bar of chocolate, you've got about 50 milligrams of caffeine. So if you have four of those bars, you're going to be having quite a lot of caffeine in your day. But we wouldn't advise that much chocolate in a day anyway, particularly if you are pregnant, because we don't want you to be eating for two and gaining a lot of extra weight as well, because that's going to have extra problems. What's interesting about this report is that they're saying that cups of tea didn't have the same effect, even though there's obviously caffeine in tea. So you're right in saying, aren't you, that there are lots of sort of unknowns still about this? There are many unknowns. I mean, actually, they did find that caffeine from all sources was having an effect but they don't actually know what it is. It, you really can't tell cause and effect from these kinds of studies. All you can do is look at it and see you've got two factors. Do they match? And of course, we've always seen that if you've got something like someone has a lot of co coffee, they might be a smoker as well. There's other factors. This study found there was no correlation between smokers and the caffeine. Caffeine alone was doing it. Can, but, we, can we worry too much? I mean, I was saying just before we came back, and I went, what, thank heavens yeah. I'm not a woman and a pregnant one at that because it was, it's hugely there difficult. There is so to many kind of do's and don'ts to do when you're pregnant that I think this is just one extra thing for people to get unnecessarily worried about. Moderation, know that we don't want you to have excess amounts of coffee, caffeine of any sort. Follow those basic guidelines and until we, we know any more, I don't think we should panic about this. Right. Just err on the side of caution, perhaps, but no panic. I think so. And one other thing I would just say is, because there's so many do's and don'ts of pregnancy, the NHS have got a fantastic site about all the do's and don'ts. So have I'd they? go there. So get online. NHS choices and all the do's and don'ts of what to eat, what not to eat, are all there. Brilliant. You see, that's what you need in the morning, proper, sensible advice yeah. like that. Don't panic, do a bit of research. Nicole, good to see you. Thank you Pleasure. very much indeed.